July 16th, 2017. This is a continuation from part one of the most horrible, distrustful wine stuff in the United States of America. And this is part of the police and security section. Um, here in front of me we got uh, Allied Universal Security and um, they seem to be okay. There's nothing really wrong with them. Most of them are older and from foreign countries. I don't have a problem with them. The point is private security firms, private policing is slowly taking over the United States and there will be less real police officers and sheriffs. They'll still be around, but it's gonna be less. And that's because the electronic and digital world has taken over a huge chunk of all the security. And we don't need police anymore, but they'll still be around. You have to have police to make arrests. But as you can see, slowly these security cars from private security firms as you can see this one right here, Allied Universal, I'm not picking on them at all, but they will eventually have all the same electronic. Many years down the road, they'll have the same electronic and stuff, uh, equipment in their car, and eventually they'll probably even have some of the police and sheriff trunk stuff, the big, big, heavy modulators the size of a few suitcases that do literally just about everything imaginable for real on this planet as they drive by hitting one single person or hundreds of thousands of them to control their mind. There are so many patents out there right now in the United States of America, hundreds and thousands, but they only use a few hundred of them right now in the police trunk that control any person's mind literally through frequencies, subliminal images, radiation, biofeedback, it's endless what you can do with those four alone. So I'm pretty much done. Um, we'll move on to the next section of this documentary scientific matrix series of Alley and Ventura County.